Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new tutorial. Today I will show you the steps that I follow to create this cool electronics device that helps me counting the sets while performing gym exercises. So let's get started. First things first, this device will not count automatically the sets, but it has the ability to memorize the sets target and the achieved sets. Then it gives a notification as soon as you achieve the target sets. Basically, the circuit around this gadget is so simple, two push buttons for sets count and sets target are needed to increment the displayed values on two LED bars. All components are connected to an MCU of your choice. In my case, I'm running with the ATmega328 since I managed to program my device using Arduino IDE. The system could be powered by a 3 volt coin cell battery or through a lithium 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. For this specific part, we are adding a charging stage to our circuit. I moved to Altium Designer and I brought all the needed parts from the online library. Such handy tool will allow you to establish the parts connection in the most arranged way. In case you look for some specific parts, then maybe you want to check it from Octopart a really big library of component packages that you can get them directly uploaded to your schematic. I use a WS2811 addressable LEDs in my project, so all in all we are using only three control pins from our MCU. Two inputs for push buttons and one output for these 12 RGB LEDs. This way, you can use even the smallest MCU of your choice to create similar device. I transformed my schematic to this PCB design where I placed the LEDs in two columns. The first one indicating the set's target and the second one indicates the achieved sets. The whole parts are arranged on one compact area of 30 by 30 millimeters. Routing is the simplest step ever as long as you respect the manufacturer capabilities on your design rules. I prepared the Gerbold files of my design and I moved it to JLC PCB to place my order. Just some clicks to set the manufacturing parameters like quantity, thickness, solder mask color, etc. I also activated the stencil ordering to get the design related stencil. Then it's done. I waited for 6 days to get my order successfully delivered. Here are my small boards turned out perfectly. The stencil also looks good and will certainly help on the assembly stage. Everything looks ready, now it's time for assembly. After completing the assembly, do not forget to clean the board with some flux removal solvent. About programming the microcontroller, I prepared these spots to achieve the programming using pogo pins. I then uploaded the program to my board, connected the battery, and here is the first testing result. As soon as I power on the device, I get this quick animation then whenever I click on the target push button, I increment the target counter. 
Any click on the sets push button will increment the sets counter. Taking this example, I will pretend that the target is 4 sets, so I have to set the target to 4. Then whenever I complete a set, I have to click the sets button. Now we are doing the final set, so after clicking the button, I get the animation saying that the exercise has been successfully completed and I move to the next one, so I have to set the new exercise's target. I designed this housing for my device, then I 3D printed it to make my device wearable. Now I can take the device with me to the gym. Such solution will certainly decrease the long discussion between me and my coach about how many sets I did and will increase my concentration while performing. It also shows the ability of solving day life problems through some simple ideas as long as you follow the appropriate steps. That's it for today guys, do not miss to subscribe to my youtube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.